Hey everyone, it's George again. Today we'll be talking an amazing holiday called St. George's Day. Most likely, you may have seen this character before. Let's figure out how to combine this symbol with the English language, culture and country and add some fun activities to our classes. St. George was born sometime around the year 280 in what is now known as Turkey. He was a soldier and rose up through the ranks of the Roman army, eventually becoming one of the personal guards of the Emperor Diocletian. He was executed for being a Christian on April 23rd and had been buried in the town of Lod in Israel. St. George is most widely known for slaying a dragon. According to the legend, the only well in the town of Cyrene was guarded by a dragon and the inhabitants of the town had to offer a human sacrifice every day to the dragon. On the day that St. George was visiting, a princess had been selected to be sacrificed. However, he killed the dragon, saved the princess and gave the people of Cyrene access to the water. In gratitude, they converted to Christianity. It is thought that the dragon represents a certain type of pagan belief that included the sacrifice of human beings. Hence, it's no surprise that the key symbols of the holiday are dragons, knights, and the red crosses. The first and the best thing to do during your lesson is staging the knight versus dragon fight. It's rather simple. Step one, create paper knights and dragons. There are numerous and various tutorials and options on how to build them. So feel free to choose. At the same time, you can teach kids all the relevant vocabulary about animals, monsters, the middle ages, knights and kings. Step two, build the castle of Silene out of cardboard together with your students. It may serve you well because this exercise will help your potentially future architects learn the basics of architectural terminology. Step 3. Let the battle begin. The fight consists of dragons and knights discussing and or debating certain topics of your choosing. It might also be a great idea to customize this activity according to the age of your students. Let's say teens are more likely to enjoy the discussion part of the project while kids and toddlers are more into crafting and coloring the characters. Another good idea to make your lesson fun is to use masks for role playing. Again, you can customize it in the way you want. Print templates from the internet or let the kids paint their own ones. Okay. We have the three characters, the knight, the dragon and the princess. Students make groups of three and play games. If you would like to know more about gamification, we've already assembled a short video right up here. But this is what I can suggest for you to do today. 1. Play Scrabble. When conflicts can no longer be solved with swords and fire, the way to save the princess is to outsmart each other in a board game. Number 2. Uno. All kids surely love this game, so it'll be fun. And 3. Riddles. This is a tricky one. The dragon respects wisdom and offerings to let the princess go only after the knight solves his riddles. Here's one for example. I'm purple, yellow, red and green. The king cannot reach me and neither can the queen. I show my colors after the rain and only when the sun comes out again. Let me know what you think it is and in the comment section below leave your riddles so I can solve them on my own. Apart from focusing on the hero, Let's think about the country and the culture as well. We believe that we know all about England, but many people confuse it with the UK. Do you know the difference? You can also let me know in the comments below. But as for the culture, try to use the Kahoot app to create a great quiz for your students. So find some fun facts about England, build your own quiz inside the app and enjoy the class. It is important to note that your students will need the Kahoot app to be installed on their phones before the lesson begins. So give them this task in advance. As long as all of them love their smartphones, you'll be the most entertaining and technologically advanced teacher. Moreover, St. George's Day is celebrated simultaneously with the birthday of William Shakespeare. The poet has a great number of plays known even by the kids, so you can try to stage some acting with your students. Pick a piece of his writing, work a little as a director, and enjoy the play performed by your students. It is really interesting from the perspective of new vocabulary and as a grammar challenge. Shakespeare's language is beautiful, however, it can be complicated, so your kids will be learning a lot. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like it and subscribe to our channel. It's a very small thing, but it means a lot to our team. And if you wish to be a part of our team, there is a link below that you can click right now. Good luck to you and your students and see you next time.